Thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today's video will be a quick update for the home data center projects I have going on right now. It's been a couple of months since I really had anything on the channel with regard to some of the more tech servery stuff that we do versus the mining and the PC builds. So I wanted to do a quick update of the rack and lab status before I start diving into a couple of projects this summer. So the server on the bottom is my Unraid storage server. This is currently housing all my media, backups, and all of the YouTube data like the video files and the thumbnails and all that good stuff. This is my main storage server. As you can see it's actually on the bottom of the rack right now and that's because the case which is I believe one of the Norco RP470s doesn't actually fit. It's too wide to be rack mounted in a standard rack. It's kind of a common issue from what I read in the comments so one thing coming up is I will definitely be replacing that case with a new 4U case. I will get that rack mounted. This one actually looks a little bit nicer in that the top sides, front and back, are all black, so they'll kind of go with the theme of the other servers, which is nice. And here, the larger 4U server you see with the three fans is basically, right now, just crypto mining. This summer, I'm probably going to convert this server back into an ESXi host. I'll still mine on it. I'll probably have a virtual machine with maybe six to... 10 cores on it, so I'll still be mining a little bit on this to get some ROI out of it. I'll probably be doing a couple of videos during the ESXi installation process and kind of detailing a couple of things I want to do with it. I'm probably going to virtualize a FreeNAS VM and a couple other neat things, so definitely stay tuned for that. The server on top here is the PFSense firewall. Isn't really a whole lot that I actually plan on doing with this machine. Once you set these up, it's pretty much set it and forget it. Depending on interest, I may actually take a look into setting up a second PFSense firewall, either a VM or another physical server, and set it up in a redundant configuration. Let me know in the comments if that's something you guys might be interested in seeing. And here we have the dreaded dead pull out keyboard tray with monitor. As you can see, the monitor here is dead. This tray doesn't actually pull out so well. I had to put a mouse, a keyboard, and a very old AOC monitor. Not the best setup. I've looked on some of the manufacturer's websites and even on eBay for some refurb rack mount units with the LCD display and the keyboard and mouse. and. They're all quite expensive, so I might actually try to piece together a couple of parts with some hinges and see what I can kind of build into a shelf. So that should be a lot of fun. And probably a little bit of fun to get this out of the rack. This is in there pretty good. And as you can see here, we have the most state-of-the-art power supply mounting mechanism. We've got our CyberPower UPS powering and protecting everything, standing on a Logisys computer case, the actual box it came in. So that's definitely something I'm going to be taking a look at. I'm not sure yet if I plan to mount this on its side on a shelf, mount it straight up, or if I even really want it in the rack at all. I'm not super worried about potential flood or water on the floor here, but it is something that could happen, so I'm not really sure yet how high off the ground I want that. As you can see here, the cabling is kind of a mess right now. This is definitely something that I'm going to have to take a look at. Eventually, I do want to put the sides back on the rack and the actual door back together and actually kind of make it look all nice and neat again. I'll have to take a look at some cable management options. And we can see on the top there, I've got a router, a switch, both of which are unplugged, and my HD home run. That's not actually a rack mountable unit. In fact, I think it mounts to the wall. But the idea is to get everything probably on a shelf inside of the rack if it's actually being used. And if it's not, I'm probably gonna get it stored somewhere else. I've got quite a few extra spare parts. They may come in handy, especially depending on the shelves if I buy or build. Although I'm pretty tempted to buy some, especially if they slide out. And since a couple of you have mentioned in the videos that it kind of sounds a little bit deafening when we're down in the data center area, that is because of this D-Link switch I'm running. This is a DGS-1248T. 
the switch sounds like that basically because the fans are shot. Coming up, I will be taking a look at replacing the DC fans in there. I have an infrared heat gun. It's not the most accurate way to show the temperature difference, but it should help. And depending on what it looks like inside, I may even see if I can get some adhesive strips and just put some heat sinks on the switch and run it completely fanless. That would be ideal. Get the noise down in here. And then all of this, this isn't actually a part of the data center or any of the areas that I normally film in, but it is all the equipment and spare stuff that I have. So I may do a video on organizing all the different PC parts I have and getting everything situated. I know a lot of us who are hobbyists and enthusiasts probably have quite a bit of crap laying around. So it would definitely help to be able to find it all when you need it. So those are the plans for the mini data center at home this summer. I'll be going through each thing in one or two videos depending on how long it takes. So definitely get subscribed to the channel and hit that little red bell so you get all the updates. If you're interested in stuff like this or want to share anything that you're currently working on, definitely let me know in the comments section below. I'll be including some links in the description below on the parts that I'm currently using and some of the parts that I plan on purchasing for the builds and updates to the data center this summer. Like the video if you liked it. You can stay in touch with us on Twitter at Sam's Tech Stuff, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Sam's Tech Stuff, or on our website, samstechstuff.com.